Hello everyone, welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming in collaboration with the amazing Kratos team. A few days ago I saw many things brewing in the PTR server. That's not normal, something strange is coming to us. What are those? How much boost would I get? How much do they cost? Would you like to know more, if so, do go bananas on the subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Please be aware that this is a test environment and some of the information that I am going to provide can be subject to changes as the developers see fit. If you haven't figured it out yet, yes, yes, and yes, plasma resources buildings, plasma training camps and plasma hospital are back on the table, ripe for upgrades. For some reason, it was not released, in the previous huge rollout of Plasma Level 9 and Plasma Level 10 HQ, it was removed. I was able to upgrade these life in the PTR server, and I am ready to share with you the boost that you would get, the normal plasma or blue plasma that is needed to upgrade them, and last but not least, I have a mega gorilla trick up my sleeve that I feel many survivors should know about. So keep watching until the end. Let's start with the plasma resources buildings. You would be pleased to know, there is actually no normal plasma or blue polymer plasma needed to upgrade them. I bet you are breathing out a huge sigh of relief, well I would too. The amazing folks at the Kratos team have extracted this information to help you digest some of the numbers, if this is something that interests you. Alternatively, I've provided their discord in the description below, if you would like to join and get access to a whole host of amazing information. Next let's touch on the plasma training camps. They actually cost 412 normal plasma and 20 blue plasma in total to achieve level 10 for all four training camps, so it doesn't seem too expensive. Similarly, the amazing folks at the Kratos team have provided this table for us to digest the numbers. What amazes me is the total increase at plasma level 10 is only an additional 40 troops and the increase in training speed by 8%, which actually doesn't seem a lot for what you've spent. If you are precious on plasma, then this ain't something I'm going to recommend for you to jump to upgrade anytime soon. Finally, last but not least, let's take a look at the plasma hospital. If you want to get the plasma hospital to plasma level 10, then this will set you back by 955 plasma and 25 blue plasma. In return you are going to be in receipt of an additional 55,500 additional hospital capacity, in my example to around 335,000. Again, if you are precious on plasma, then this isn't something I'm going to recommend you to jump to upgrade anytime soon. However, should these be released to the survivors community, it does enable us to utilize a trick that will help folks to rank high in events by upgrading a farm building, then canceling it. Then upgrading it again and canceling the upgrade. This trick will allow you those abundance of construction speedups that many folks have been building up but are unable to use due to lack of normal plasma or blue plasma. So keep this gorilla trick in mind, as this is a mega benefit in my opinion for many free-to-play players to help you in various events. So remember, never upgrade all your farm buildings and keep at least one farm building at the lower levels to utilize this trick. Well, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts surrounding the impending release of these new plasma buildings. If you like my videos, please smack on the subscribe button leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos.